you definitely get a sense of the scale of destruction. You know, all the trees are upended and their roots are out and just a mess, really. I'm Manon Carpenter. I'm a former mountain biking world champion and climate change is affecting my sport. I've been mountain biking for about as long as I can remember. I got introduced to it through my father and then I've carried on with it ever since. For me, mountain biking is very much my way of recharging and also just the way of connecting with myself as well. It's kind of how I feel like I can express myself. It connects me to the environment as well and where I'm riding and I really feel rooted to the places that I've ridden in. Mountain biking is a sport that takes place in the natural environment, so a lot of the time we're in forests and we've seen recently alongside flooding and forest fires, storms that have entirely flattened the forests that we ride in. Climate change can feel like such an intangible thing. We, like here in the UK, we don't really necessarily think we're going to be affected that badly by it, but I guess this is kind of proof and kind of in your face that it's here right now. It's very powerful seeing it close up and you're not used to seeing trees like this. You definitely get a sense of the scale of destruction. You know, all the trees are upended and their roots are out and just a mess, really. Any paths or trails that would have been beneath these trees are entirely blocked now and destroyed and you basically can't get into these forests at the moment. It's simply too dangerous. And in there you can see where it's just torn up all the soil as well. So this is like a little snapshot of what's happened across the UK. If storms like this get more frequent and more extreme, what will the future of forests be? I can understand why some people will say, you know, it's too big a challenge to tackle and individually it, it actually is. You know, we need help to make the informed choices and we need those choices to be possible as well. So I need everyone to care so that globally, governmentally, we realise that everybody wants action on this. Through the position I found myself in mountain biking, I've been able to get involved with a number of really cool organisations who are trying to make a difference. Soil Searching is an organisation that's trying to activate the riding community to celebrate and look after the trails that we ride on and the places that they exist within. Without these amazing natural spaces and without the trails within them, we don't have a sport. Trash Free Trails is trying to remove 75% of litter or single use pollution from our trails and our wild spaces. And also through doing that to connect people with our natural environments. We think it's so important that everybody can connect to nature. And this kind of ties in with the idea that people look after what they love, but you can't love something you've never experienced or not connected with. And Protect Our Winters are trying to engage the outdoor community who already love and play in these spaces to get engaged and get active and use our voices to push for the changes we need. It's part of realising that every single part of society needs to care. Yeah, I guess it's cliche to say, but I just hope that we can come together rather than being driven apart to make the world we live in a better place for people, for nature, fairer and healthier because ultimately a good life is a healthy life I think and we need a healthy world for that to be possible for everyone.